Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. Uh, we also provide online training, online tuition, and uh, we also help uh, in <coughs> uh, college-based assignment in technical work, and we also do freelance-based project on several technologies like MATLAB, Embedded System. Arduino, IoT, LabVIEW, etc. So, if you have any such requirement, uh, you can contact us at uh, uh, you can contact us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com or you can contact us through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org. Okay, so let's come to the description of this video. Uh, this is a project video. So in this project video, we will be describing or demonstrating the project which we implemented. That is the uh, irrigation automatic irrigation system based on Internet of Things technologies using Arduino. So in short, we can say irrigation system using Arduino and IoT. Okay. So let's uh, first let's have uh, some basic uh, uh, idea about how does the IoT work or what is the broad schematic diagram of the project ok so let's open it so here we have used Arduino Mega and so so in this project uh, sorry for the diagram it never goes straight from me ok so we have Arduino Mega here and there are several sensors which are connected to it like uh, we have a temperature sensor okay we have a humidity sensor we have a soil moisture sensor and then we have some relays to control so these relays are connected to uh, fan uh, like it can be connected to exhaust fan and then uh, another one is connected to water pump so in this demonstration we have shown only uh, relays those relays can be connected to this fan and water pump at the user end Okay, now in order to demonstrate or display the data, we have also connected a 16 cross 2 LCD a liquid crystal display. So, all this data is going to LCD, then we are getting the data from temperature sensor, we are getting the data from humidity sensor, and we are getting the data from soil moisture sensor and then based on this data we are connecting we are uh, controlling this fan and water pump through Arduino Mega so in order to provide a IoT flavor into it so this particular board is connected to a Ethernet shield Ethernet shield and the Arduino Mega is transmitting uh, and receiving the data from Ethernet shield. Okay, and then this Ethernet shield is connected to the internet, so we can say a uh, big giant network. it is connected to internet and data is being transmitted and bi-directional through this ethernet shield and then we have a web server okay so in case of web server uh, we have used ub dots platform in order to create our iot application uh, uh, ub dot didn't, uh, didn't uh, paid us for doing some publicity actually we use ub dots because uh, 
it's easy to use and it's provide a separate platform for a student purpose so our charges for that is uh, very low so you can also use if you are a student and you want to demonstrate uh, this kind of project to your as a final year project to your college okay so so data is flowing like this uh, we have created a dashboard of several icons on which we have control icons to control the fan and water pump we have some display icons to display the temperature humidity and soil moisture so and this particular platform can be accessed from computer or from your mobile and then whatever data you pass it or whatever uh, that goes through the ethernet uh, to the arduino mega and then corresponding action is taken place whether it is to control the fan or water pump and for temperature sensors data uh, is going from arduino mega to ethernet shell then through the internet to the web server and through web server uh, those particular data is being provided so this is the schematic of the uh, project uh, which we have implemented at our end so let's have a demonstration video about it how it is working and to give you a flavor like uh, how this project works okay so let's uh, see a hi video. this is hi this is the project demonstration uh, about which we just discussed in the theory so we have interfacing three sensors one is this uh, soil moisture this is temperature and humidity sensor and then we are controlling the relay and right now in this project actually it is a project which we created for someone else uh, we are providing the power supply from this board and here we have Arduino Omega and there is a ethernet shield to send the data to the website okay. and all these are connections and the sensors data are also displayed on these LCD So, if let me focus it. Okay. Yeah, you may be visualizing temperature, humidity, and soil moisture, which is two percent. So, this is the uh, all the data which is being displayed on this LCD, and then we have created the uh, this. Uh, uh, dashboard on a UB dots uh, UB dot cloud service through which we are uh, connecting or through which we are controlling uh, these relays and through which we are sending the data to uh, to our to the server. So if we press this here um, on so corresponding uh, relay we will turn on here. So it takes some time to get the data transferred from website and suppose I make it fan on so another relay will turn on as well. Okay, so this is how we are sending the data in a form of a, of a IoT. Okay, so all this temperature and humidity data is being displayed here. So right now I can demonstrate to you the humidity sensor data which is being transmitted from that board to the internet server so right now humidity is 37 so i will make uh, i will blow my air uh, to this sensor now humidity should increase to some other way up. humidity has increased to 52 the same should be up here humidity has been increased to 52 right so and down 95 of course yep. and 93 because it takes some time to process to get the data okay so this was the all about of the iot based irrigation system or uh, this was a demonstration of iot based irrigation system okay so if you want to, to get this project done then you can contact us at www.gcbrlabs.org or you can mail us at gcbrlabs at gmail.com okay okay so you have seen in a video how this project is working 
uh, our data we are able to control the relays from uh, uh, from the input output uh, from the uh, buttons available on the UV dots platform and then you were also able to see the uh, temperature and humidity data on the UBI platform so that is uh, pretty cool right so you can create this kind of application your own or if you want us to make uh, this kind of project or any other project based on IoT application then you can contact us because we also provide uh, this kind of solution so if you want to purchase this project or you want to create such a kind of project then obviously you can contact us at uh, contact us uh, uh, through our website which is www.gcbrlabs.org or you can contact us at uh, uh, our mail id which is jcbrolabs dot jcbrolabs at gmail dot com. So, uh, if you have uh, any other requirement other than this particular project, even then you can contact us at our mail ID. So we can provide help to you in order to develop this IoT kind of project. So I hope you really enjoyed this video and you really like the idea. So that's it for this video. Thank you.